Yeah, I mean, isn't that going towards the, uh, doing the thing that you'd love to do? That your heart tells you That your heart you tells you to do, that's right, yes. Or is it your soul, your real soul, that you house with you in every past life? You cannot trade your soul in. No. The same soul is with you whether you are a cat or dog or tree. And it comes in to you in the in the physical form, or is it your soul? We call it heart, of course, solar plexus to the heart. Is it the soul that actually is guiding us? You know when you have a decision to make and yes. your head is telling you one thing, and yet you have a gut feeling telling you something entirely the opposite. And so you say, no, I'll be jolly sensible and go by head and manage to get yourself into a situation that you don't want to be, into a dark space. And then you think... If I'd have listened to my gut feeling, I wouldn't have gone down this route. So are you saying that your mental state, your head will never actually give you the happiness that your soul or heart will? That's right. Absolutely. Because our, our brains are practical. They are the functions that tell us how to cross the road, how to drive the car, how to um, look after the home, how to be responsible for our children, for, for our family. Um, heads are abs- an absolute necessity. But when it comes to feelings, um, falling in love with someone, for instance, you don't actually say, well, should I fall in love with this person? What do I think? Let me have a look at the checklist. It doesn't work that way, does no, it? No, that's right. It doesn't. It's all part of the feeling, like you say. Yes, that's right. And, you know, I've heard parents, well, why have you chosen him? Well, I don't know. It just yeah. feels right. <laughs> that's right. That's <laughs> that right. Is, that is the difference. And, and to be able to differentiate between the two, is actually very, very important. And that's where the art of meditation and yoga and tai chi and all of these exercises are good for the soul. Yes. So would you say we're here? I mean, this this comes down to a sort of rhetorical question, but I mean, are we here to find out what love's about, are we? Is it about connecting with ourselves or re-remembering ourselves? It's an actual fact to understand that happiness and our experiences on planet Earth can be good, but we do have to apply unconditional love. 